I just wanted to show you guys what I taught my class today for math. I thought it was a very fun lesson, so I decided to share it with you guys. So today, the objective was to decompose numbers from 6 to 8. And we use cubes and number bond templates to do that. So I'm going to show you using um, a number stick of seven. Even though we did six through eight today with my, well, I did it with my kids, but I'm just going to show you um, with seven. So there are seven individual cubes. And we did this fun little game called snap, where they had to break apart the stick any way they wanted. So they could break it one and six and vice versa, or two and five and vice versa, things like that. Cause they're trying to find like all the ways to make a certain number. So they would just snap. And then once you snap the two pieces, you will have your two parts. So I have some cues over here in this hand and then I have some cues over here in my other hand. After that, they will use their number bond template. Um, it's not circles, it's boxes, but it's still a number bond. And they will place Whichever they snap from this hand, they will place that in one part, and then they will place the other in the other part. Once they did that, they had to count how many cubes was in each part. So I will count how many cubes are in this part. One, two, three, four. After I counted that, I will write the number four. And then I would count how many is in my other part, how many cubes are in my other part. One, two, three. So I have three cubes in my other part. So I'm gonna write the number three. So if I hold it up, your number bond should look something like this so far. After that, their choice, they could either snap them back together or just go ahead and count them all to get the total. So I'm going to count all of them together. I'm kind of pushing them close together to count to receive my total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven cubes in all. So at the end, they should be able to say three and four equals seven or four and three equals seven so that's all so simple simple little lesson and of course they would erase and they'll put the cubes back together and then they'll snap, snap it a different way so now i have two in this hand and five in this hand and then so hopefully at the end of the day they'll be able to say three and four equals seven one and six equals seven two and five equals seven they don't have to memorize it forever but you know just for right now just so they can connect the dots that these two parts equals a certain total or your parts can change and still have the same total so that was all for today